Moving to a new place is hard for anyone, but for eight-year-old Sylvia Mendez, it would prove intolerable. Today is her first day of school in Westminster, California. And with a Puerto Rican mother, Mexican father, and segregation in full force, Sylvia and her siblings won't be allowed to attend the all-white school. Instead, she will be relegated to the all-Mexican school, a two-room wooden shack with tattered books and crumbling desks, where the boys are taught manual labor and the girls are prepared to be maids. They say it's separate but equal. But how is this equal? Outraged by the poor conditions and blatant discrimination, Sylvia's father enlists renowned civil rights attorney David Marcus for help. Arriving in Westminster, Marcus is appalled by what he sees, immediately filing a class action on behalf of Sylvia and 5,000 other children just like her. And on March 21st, 1946, after waging a year-long fight for equality, Sylvia and the children of Westminster would finally earn the education they deserve. Segregation in California public schools was abolished. Sylvia's story may be lost to history, but her courage and tenacity would lead to one of the most historical Supreme Court decisions of our time. Brown versus the Board of Education, outlawing school segregation forever. Girl power plus purpose can change the world. <laughs>